Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and hello if you're new here. So for today's video, we are going to be talking all about the brows. Um, I'm going to be sharing more about my brow maintenance and upkeep with you guys, some of my favorite products, and then of course I'll do a little tutorial and show you guys how I did my brows today. So if you're interested in learning more all about my brows, then keep on watching. All right, so before we hop right into the tutorial, I first wanted to talk about the point in which I do my brows in my makeup routine and also my brow maintenance because I get so many questions mainly about the maintenance piece of it. Um, but I'm sure you guys can see I like have some makeup on but my look is not finished. I do my brows basically in the middle. I get all my face makeup done minus blush and highlight and then I like to do my brows right before I start with shadow. Um, it's just a personal preference. I mean, you can do your brows at any point in your routine. I don't like doing them first because I'm just not coordinated enough to do my brows as the very first thing and then try to go in with foundation, concealer, and not mess them up or get it all over them. Um, I don't like doing them at the very end because I don't know, I feel like my brows just kind of set the tone for doing my shadow and I just like to have that complete. As far as maintenance goes, I have not had anybody professionally wax, thread, or touch my brows for going on four years now. Um, I used to religiously get them waxed, but um, I just didn't find anybody who I could consistently go to was shaping them how I liked and they always ended up thinner than what I wanted. So um, at the end of college, I guess, I kept growing them out and when I finally felt like I got them to a good place, I just left them alone and I just tweeze now at home. I have a couple pair of tweezers at home that I like to use. This is one of them. Um, I actually got this in a BoxyCharm box and these are like crazy precise. I don't know if you all can see like this edge is just like really, really sharp. This one is even sharper. Like you could poke out an eye with this. Um, but yeah, just super precise. So I have been using these recently. I also have another pair of tweezers that I can't find to save my life, but they're just typical drugstore. I think they're like Revlon or something tweezers. I love them. They're like my preferred ones, but again, they're lost in this mess of a beauty room and I can't find them right now. Um, another important thing that I like to keep at home for brows is a pair of trimming scissors. So I like to use these to obviously brush up and trim my brows as needed, um, which I don't think I need to do now, but basically in order to figure that out, I will use a little mirror, I'll take a spoolie, I'll brush them up and just See what we got going on. Um, I could trim the front a little. I kind of like them in the middle, to be honest. Like I don't want them too sharp, but I don't want them like super, super bushy. I like like a natural fluffy sort of look. So this is pretty, pretty good for me for now. And um, I guess another question that I should have addressed at the beginning that I get asked so much is whether I have my brows microbladed and I do not, I've never had that done. Um, I'm sure if I had much thinner natural brows, then it's something that I would wanna do. But um, I, as you can see, I have pretty thick natural brows. So it's just not something that I'm interested in or feel like I need to do. I also, the other thing that I like to share is I just truly love makeup. Um, I love the act and the art of putting makeup on. So I, like, yes, it takes me time, but I enjoy sitting down and doing my makeup. I enjoy sitting down and doing my brows. So that's another reason why I just like, don't really care about having them microbladed. Um, this one is the same thing. They're just kind of right in the middle. I might need to trim them within the next two weeks or so, but for now, I think they look really good. And um, they're just like right in the space that I, I like to keep them in. So another thing that I wanted to mention as far as brow maintenance goes and like taking care or getting rid of any unwanted hair that comes back, I've honestly found just from tweezing, like I don't really have a lot of plucking or tweezing that I need to do. Um, there'll be like a couple hairs that come through here and there and I just get them as needed. As far as the top of my brow goes, um, I have shared this before. So if you follow me on Instagram, I'm sure you've seen me talk about dermaplaning. I dermaplane at home. I can link the tool that I use below in case that's something that you're interested in. But when I dermaplane, which I do about once a month, 
um, that gets off any extra peach fuzz or hair that may, might be growing around the top of my brow. So I don't really have to do a lot of heavy tweezing up there either for that reason because it just kind of takes care of it and gets rid of it. Um, as far as the middle of my brow goes, I will have a hair or two pop up occasionally and I just tweeze that as well. But again, like, I don't know, I honestly feel like me maintaining my brows at home is a lot easier and I have to do them a lot less frequently than when I was on like a waxing routine. So keep that in mind, um, you know, if it is something that you want to try out. I would say like once you get them at the shape that you want, go from there. Worst comes to worst, you might feel overwhelmed or like it's too much to handle and go back to waxing. But it saved me so much money for one. It's also saved me a lot of humiliation because I have the most sensitive skin. And I just got to the point where I was really tired of having to go into a salon, get waxed, my lip as well, um, and walk out bright red. And then my skin would stay like that forever. So. Yeah, taking care of my brows at home is definitely it for me. I have a couple different tools that I like using um, to actually fill in and shape my brows. Um, the Probably the most used one is this CoverGirl Micro Fine and Define Pencil and I use the shade Honey Brown. Um, it's dual ended, I believe it's under $8 and the tip, let me show you, it's just like its name, it's Micro Fine and I just really love it. Um, it just gets really detailed and it surprisingly does cover a lot of space since I do have such large brows I will say I tend to run out of this a little bit Faster, but I don't mind because I love it so much and my brows look so good when I use this I won't be using this today because I'm sure you all could see um, I'm basically out of it and for whatever reason Walgreens did not carry this product so I couldn't pick it up when I went to go grab stuff, but it's fine. Um, another product that I typically use is the Maybelline Total Temptation uh, Brow Pencil. I don't have it here with me, but it's like the Frankie Rose Pencil that I'm gonna be using today. Um, and this Frankie Rose Pencil is new. So the Maybelline one also has this like triangular shape to it, which I feel like helps cover a lot of surface area and um, it also helps you get really detailed. Um, obviously the Maybelline one is like around $8 too um, and it's another one that I love, one of my holy grails, but um, ran out of it and Walgreens didn't have it. Walgreens, step it up. I, I don't know what your deal is. Um, two other pencils that I have and also really love are um, the Ferocious Brow Pencil by The Balm. Um, it's similar to the CoverGirl Micro Fine and Define pencil where it's double ended. It has like the micro fine tip to get really detailed and has a spoolie on the other end. Um, then lately I have, this is more of a luxury or like higher end price point, but I do like the benefit precisely my brow pencil. I have the shade five, which is the darkest one you can go. So it is a little bit on the darker end for me. Um, I've made it work and it looks beautiful. But this, of course, is around like the $23 range, which is not ideal for everyone's budget. Um, I love it. I think this pencil works so great, but I'm just going to be honest with you guys. Here's it so you can see. Um, yeah, $23 for as quickly as I go through this. I can't swing it right now. Maybe in the future, but not right now. If you have the budget for it and want to try something that is on the luxury side of things, I would say pick this up and give it a go. You'll love it. But yeah, that's kind of like my roundup or collection of most frequently used brow pencils. Now that I have kind of rambled on about both my maintenance, the products that I use and where I do my brows and my routine, I'm going to go ahead and get right to it and start my little brow tutorial. So um, I always, always, always take a spoolie and comb through my brows just to make sure there's like nothing in them. Um, make sure that, I don't know, if there's any product that's stuck in them, we get that out. And yeah, I just think that it completely sets the tone when you have a comb through brow versus a non comb through brow. I like to just start not at the very beginning, but pretty close to it. And um, I start doing little baby hair strokes. I, of course, like my brows to look defined, but I I don't like them to look too 
um, harsh. I do like a natural look still. So these little like baby wispy moves seem to work really well. Um, another thing that I'm constantly doing that I think helps a lot is I'm constantly taking that spoolie and combing back through. Um, Cause it just like thins out the product if it maybe went on too harsh and I think just adds to that like, natural look that I like to go for. So for the very beginning of the brow, I like to go up like this. So the pencil is just being held flat and I'm going up. And then I also like to do a variation where I have it vertically and I'm doing like little baby strokes. And that is looking pretty good to me. I like the front filled in, but again, I just don't want it too harsh because I don't like that look for me personally. Um, now that I kind of have the front of the brow looking good, um, I'm gonna go ahead and go through and shape the rest of it. And I just follow my natural shape. I would say the biggest thing for my brows um, that I that I do or add on is I do extend them a little bit just because my natural brow cuts a little bit short of where they should be. And sometimes as I'm doing them, they're not perfect. Like I have a little, a little too much down under here that smudged, which is fine. Um, I will take a Q-tip and then I'll just go back through and clean that up. My brow is looking good. Um, I will say the only thing that I tend to run into with the triangular shaped brow pencils is um, getting just really detailed and defined on the very tail of the brow. So I have the tiniest bit of product left in my CoverGirl pencil and I'm just gonna take that and try to just like even this out a little bit and make it look a little bit natural because it, it's a little harsh for my liking. Um, so I'm just gonna go back through, just get a little bit more detailed here. Beautiful, they look great. So yeah, that's basically it. Um, usually when I'm doing them in the morning, they take me about five minutes, maybe less. Um, and they used to take me forever. To wrap things up and end like my brow routine, I have been loving using the Benefit 24 hour uh, gel. Again, this is a little bit more pricey, but this out of all the brow gels that I've ever tried is my favorite. I love this brow gel so much. So although it is pricey, I found that it lasts a very long time and this is something that I would continue to repurchase. So um, simple enough, I'm just gonna take it and comb through them. It just gives your brows like this, I don't know, the cleanest look. And I love the shape of the brush, which I'll show you guys. And just so you all can see the shape of the brush, it's so cool. So it's like flat when you turn it to the side and it's like, I don't know, also flat when you look at it from this angle. But yeah, I don't know, it's just really cool. It applies the gel so nicely. It keeps them in place so well, but I don't feel like it dries. I've definitely had brow gels in the past that dry like gel, and it looks like you have like gunky gel on your face, which is not cute. So this one does not do that, and if they can tame and hold my brows, they can tame anyone's. All right guys, so here's the finished look, brows and all. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I hope it was helpful, helped you learn a thing or two, whether that's filling in your brows or just some at-home maintenance tips if you are interested in starting your own brow journey at home. Um, but thank you guys so much for watching. I will put and link some of my other glam details from this look below in case you're interested. But if you have any questions in the meantime, as always, leave me a comment, give me a thumbs up if you did like this video and until next time.